Good night, or whatever time it is where you are watching. You are listening to Ash Zone and the Sonic Riders Splash Canyon remix. You can find it in the playlist in the description over on YouTube. Tonight I'm just going to be uh, da, 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 returning to Castlevania Symphony of the Night Part 2. I got a little stuck at the end of the last one, so I looked up what I had to do next. Turns out it's incredibly simple. And my next objective is very, very close by to where I last saved. So let's load up. Get it all into full screen. Uh, fresh boot, please. I want to start from my save file. Full screen. And let's listen to that nostalgic PlayStation startup. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to open the volume mixer too. <laughs> And turn, turn it down to 20 this time. 20 instead of 25. Because I think these old games were a little bit louder than modern games. And get rid of my cursor. There we go. So I was, uh, before this stream, I was listening to some of the songs. Um, songs some of the ost from this game and uh the the marble the marble area song i was surprised to find is like only one minute and 20 seconds long all right so i'm here incredibly simple i have to go down now that i've got the mermaid statue and no wonder i missed this you're supposed to break this little icy bit here So good. Oh no! Life max up underwater. Come back! Ah. Have I failed? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Come on. I'm a dead man, aren't I? Yeah. Well, that was pointless. Time to load up again from the title screen. Nobody was there to see that, so it never happened. So we're just loading into Castlevania for the first time tonight. God. What's 
What's this? Obtained holy symbol. Let's see what that does. I don't think it tells you, does it? Uh, holy symbol. Protection while underwater. Well, that's just fine and dandy. Hello there, Glassy Kino. How's it going? I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. So now water doesn't. That's just great. I was doing some mini exploring earlier on off stream, trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do next. And uh, I found some stuff under the water. Ooh. Indeed, it is the PS1 version. This is my first ever playthrough of this. And overall, I'm enjoying it so far. It, uh, it exceeded my expectations, I have to say. And I've never played a traditional Castlevania be game before, but uh, you know, I've certainly seen them in action and I can see how this game adapts traditional Castlevania into the Metroidvania format. It's, it's, it's very, very well done. Classy Kino recommends if you want map completion, be thorough in this room. Because jumping around doesn't grab the bottom squares. I grabbed that by accident earlier. Ooh, what's this? Knuckle Duster. New weapon? Right, there's something I've missed and I pre presume I can only get to it. Are you gonna row us? Maybe as if I leave the room and enter again. How's it going, Sonic Channel? Alright. There's one more item I want to grab. I don't know if I can grab it, but I'm gonna try. There it is. Yeah. Oh god. I found out. I'm gonna have to get it on the other way now. Music is my favourite game. Sounds like it belongs in a Sonic Adventure game. Alright, here it comes. Ah. Onyx. Is that just a syllable? Filled place to explore now that I'm immune. Ow. Let's try that again. Ah! Sonic Channel's been watching South Park on Comedy Central. And what's your take? I hate how the music stops when you go into the menu. There's one square there I've missed. Right, I'm going up and exploring the room to my left now. Yank. Wait, is there a save station here? Yeah. Remember to regularly save because uh, last stream, my lack of doing so screwed me over. Toad. Ow. I 
love the noise of Z-Max. Kinda sounds like a tumor from Big Lesho. God, these are quite... Ow, damagey. 22 hit points. Oh dear. I just want to hit him with my thingy. There we go. Uh oh, not another one. Oh. Ice brand? If it's off screen, does it no longer work? I'm guessing that's the case. Can I make the camera go down? God, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go down with it. Ow! God, it sends you flying way back. It's like my uh, little trap in Aqualix on Act 2 if you decide to go, like, the long way before the boss. God, I need to reach the sky. Come on. That's it. Whoa, he breathes fire now. How does that work underwater? I'm, you know what? I'm just gonna get home. Now, how come there's nothing here? Can I, like. Oh, God. I suck anymore at this game. Alright. Yeah, there's definitely nothing here, isn't there? What a weird little area. Eh, why did the game, like, lead me all the way here if there was nothing there? How strange. And look at how many hit points it's gone through. Let's see if I've got any um, healing items. You have to put it in your hand, don't you? Ice sword, wow. Whoa, I need to equip these things. Look at this. It's got more attack than what I've currently got equipped. 34. 28. Glossy Kino, would I like to have a look at my map? No problem. In just a second. Poisonous mushroom. I'm looking for something that might heal me. Ah, uh, this might heal me. Alright. I've got three of them too, cool. Here's my map. I don't know where I'm gonna head after this man. Let's equip this, um... Ice brand? Leaves a little ice after effect as well. Uh oh. Falling down here. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. <laughs> Those frogs are laughing at us. to explore. Ow! What a horrible, devilish, devious trap.
Max life up. Nice. And that refills my health completely up. How wonderful. Sonic Channel's been playing South Park on the N64. What do you think of it? Would you recommend it? These laughing frogs. Going then. I missed the block there. This is gonna send me back to the entrance. So after this, I guess, uh. Oh, hang on a second. What's that there? I've missed something. There's apparently like a downwards. a downwards door. Oh, is it this? Yeah, I don't know how the hell to get through here. Let's, let's just double check that, you know, you don't have to break the bridge. Oh, my bridge is here on Twitch. How's it going? You need to play this ASAP. You've not played this one? I thought you had. And also, I'm doing alright. I've had a coffee. I've, I'm having a resort to coffee right now. I was feeling tired earlier, but I've got the energy again. Been fe feeling tired a lot lately. Classy Kino is asking if I want help with the bridge, or do I want to figure it out? Hmm. Uh, just, just tell me this. Is it hard to figure out? Oh, well, I know. Is it kind of obvious? Because I'm guessing I'll just figure it out. Oh, these. Oh, the sword doesn't affect these. Oh my god. In fact, I think it was healing. It. I like it very much. Oh my bouge. Oh, it's touching us. That's uh, freezing. I think this is where I want to be. Glassy Kino says you need to be decently observant to figure it out. Hmm. There goes my chances, huh? Here's some water. I've never been up there, and that's probably for a good reason. Oh, you guys are coming out of the water now? He's never did that before. Oh my god, did he, like, infinitely spawn? I think I can swing my sword upwards, but every time I try, I'm expending some hearts. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm such an idiot. I don't know why I didn't think to do that glassy you know. Oh, 
I don't want axes. They cost too much. Oh my god. Couldn't see it spawn up because of the uh, the zombie message in the corner. Yeah, this game's got a very good OST and it's got like quite the range as well. It does more than uh, I was expecting a Castlevania track to do. The one for the caverns we were just in with had this really excellent jazzy piano segment that sounded like it belonged in Sonic Adventure. Alright, where should I go next? I can't remember what was blocking me in the top left corner. Probably not water. Oh yeah, Oma Was Was that a Mario Cadence we just heard there? I spotted it last week and there was no one there to confirm it. I feel like I should be in this top right corner to be honest with you. Sonic Channel has reached the big 5-0. How does it feel? How are you celebrating? Right. Yeah, I'm gonna head to the top right corner of the map. How's it going, Vector? I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. I need to take a drink. The music for this area? Marble, whatever. I just call it Marble Zone, but this music's so good. <clears throat> Glassy Kino says from the look I've had at the map you didn't notice some platforms that's typical of me it's a mistake you've seen multiple people do and Vector State has noticed that I've had a shave <laughs> I had a shave yesterday because the weather's getting warmer and I don't want to be constantly boiling under all that hair whoa Oh yeah, I remember this guy. Oh my god, was I really that close to death? Jeez. I've gotta do a I've gotta redo a bunch of progress now. Maybe it's this time I'll see the uh, the platforms that I'm supposed to notice though. Oh did, no tell me I don't have to recollect that thing again. Have I lost all of my progress like since the start of the game basically? <sighs> right, I've oh, okay. I haven't lost all of my progress. Are you guys also here on YouTube? You like how in old school CD games the song doesn't loop? properly so you can listen to the intro again. Alright, so what am I what am I missing? I've missed nothing here, right? What's up this way? Once again, don't have the ice sword equipped. Do I still have it? No, it's gone completely. Oh, God, no. I've missed, missed the sword. Oh, that's also something I've got, a library card. I don't know what that does. Damn it. On a mission to find that ice sword again. Where did I find one? It wasn't down here, was it? Ow. 
those guys do it. Oh my god. Oh, for God's sake. I wish they didn't shoot while they were off screen. I don't remember that being a problem last time. Remember, you've got a shield as well. Oh my god. Right. It's only took me 30 minutes to get re really familiar with this game again. There was something here. And I just missed it. I, I didn't register collecting that. Wow. You guys also hiding something? Oh yeah. God damn it. Remember, shield. Crap. You know what? There's no point in killing me. Look at the projectile still getting fired. Oh my god, he turned around. I was not expecting that. Come on. <laughs> god damn it. I'm making no progress. Where did the ice sword come from? Where did I pick that up? It felt like it was just completely random. Rasikino has a fun fact. This is the easiest Castlevania in the series. Some people warn me that this would be a hard game. It's not as hard as other other Metroidvanias I've played. Like Hollow Knight. There's a really tough Metroidvania. I gave up playing that game. Toad, could you get in a more decent position, please? Right, I will go get the nunchucks again. These nunchucks actually do nunchaku. Strikes enemy twice. And it's got one more damage. Oh, but oh, it's a two-handed weapon. So both buttons are responsible for them. I don't like that trade-off. I like to be able to guard. And the knuckle just uh, does less damage, so I don't want that. Um, empty hand, night shield. Glassy Kino says that that is actually a mistranslation, and that was a tonfa, not nunchaku. Yeah, actually, thinking about it, nunchucks are those things on chains, aren't they? Don't fall down there. Bloody frog. These guys aren't turning around. Oh yeah, there was this little spot down here as well. What was hiding down here? Could it have been the ice saw? 
I saw it come from, I'm really confused. Like the say I had a guide that once said you should go here first to grind and level up. I don't even know what leveling up does, you know. I have absolutely no idea. Alright, so here's the bridge. That one has to be incredibly observant at. Would you like to come on the bridge, Frog? Like, there's a downwards route there. And there's somewhere I've missed in the water. How can that be? Let's re-explore what I've missed in the water. Ow. God, how come I get sent back absolutely miles? This is a good reason why I haven't felt this part of the map in. But that was pointless. Alright. Thank you, Classy Kino. I can't actually open that bridge right now, so I will not worry about it. doesn't appear to be anywhere else to go. Instead of going down the waterfall, there's also that mysterious little door to the left there, but I don't know how to get to it. I think I should go up, and that'll be the quickest way to get to where I want to go next. Yeah, I'm going to go back that way. trying to find out what the what I was supposed to do next. Some of the guides I was looking at were involved coming back up this way. And now that I've got the, the thing that lets me go through water, I once again have no idea where I'm supposed to go. What was up here? It looks like it's just a dead end, but let's double check. I'm not that into South Park, unfortunately, Sonic Channel. I've got no, not a lot to say about it. The only episode I've ever seen is the one where Jesus has a boxing match with Satan or something. Oh no, I don't want the axes. They cost too much. Is there a door up here? No. There's a door to the right, though. I wonder how to get to that. Why don't I like South Park? Believe it or not, <laughs> you know, it's, it's marketed as like an adult show, but I just find it immature and it's got no appeal to me. Everybody was crazy about it when I was a kid and I just didn't see the appeal.
station to my right. Oh, and there's doors I haven't been through. Very nearby. Right. Whoa, did you see that? Do you want to jump down here for my amusement too? No? Whoa. <laughs> oh dear. God, I love that little spinning, spinning a spear animation. For God's sake. Right into that, right. Finally, I get to save. One of the coolest save screens I've ever seen, man. Ow! Do you mind? Oh god. Right, there's a door underneath me. To the right? But what's the catch? Oh, what the hell? Well, that just sends me all the way back down to the caverns. And I did not have enough time to take in my surroundings and see exactly what it was that I had to do to get to that door. Now what would be quicker, doing a soft reboot or climbing this staircase again? if you do a soft reboot, you have to sit through the PlayStation load-up screen again, and you can't skip it, for some reason. You'd think an emulator would provide that option. But maybe it really is just disguising a loading process. the door that's closest to my left. I probably can't go through it though. We'll see. Is this close? Oh. I read the map wrong. God damn it. around. Unbelievable. Ow! There's also that vase that I've never been able to reach. Ah. God damn it. Maybe it's if I can get him to pokers <laughs> through the through the stairs and then that that knockback will <laughs> send us to the vase. I like to use, you get that so rarely, I like to use it and then drop it again. And then pick back up what I have. Uh, this guy stood at the bottom of the stairs, I remember you from last time. Ah, uh, and the haunted chairs. No, now I'm stuck with... What is this? Oh, it's the thing that moves in lines. I quite like this. Flea man. Alright, 
right, that's why I can't go up there. And the statue is here again. Sometimes it like moves out of the way. And sometimes it doesn't. Is this much in my real world time? No, it's not. It can't be. Alright, so where's the next place I should go? Top right corner. Looks like there's going to be a track to get there as well. Do, do, do. How's it going, Chester? Over on YouTube. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Were you here last time for Castlevania? I can't remember. Have you played this one? Ow. I, I, I don't know why I'm looking at the map, it's going to be a long journey. Whoa. Okay. Hmm, looks like there's a little crossroads here. I want to go up at the bottom right door. What's down there? Looks like nothing. I wonder what was in there. Uh, chess is not the best. Working on Easter was not fun. I don't envy you there. Are you home now though? Look at that creepy eye in the background. these things they're called Diplo Phallus Check the controls to get out of that, and it doesn't do any damage to you. Oh, Glassy Kino's got the meaning of the name. Basically, it means two headed. I had a different nickname for it in my head <laughs> involving the uh, death animation. Right. Am I actually here now? Alright, so there's an unexplored door to the left. Let's see. This is the place where the Medusa heads, isn't it? Alright. Mist could pass. So I'm guessing I need some kind of thing that turns me into mist. Wow, well, this music's a remix of what we've just heard in the marble area. I didn't notice that last time. Alright, so I'm going up. The list of possible places there are to explore. They're getting smaller and smaller. Oh, I do that every time too. Be nice to be able to get to that falls. Alright, so I'm going up, 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 up. I 
I think I remember this little area actually that I'm heading to. Hmm. How do I go up from here? It's like a graveyard or something. And if you fell down, then it was bad news. Safe station. Hmm. That looked destroyed. I remember fighting a boss in this room. It was like a double of me or something. Going up from here. Hmm. I've never used this elevator either. and the fake shadows in, in this background. Chester says, here's one for you, John. Have you seen an anime called... How do you pronounce this? Because I'm well aware of it. I'm going to call it Fryeran. Fryeran? Fryeran? <laughs> I don't know which one it is, but uh, I feel like I've fully consumed the show entirely in meme format. Uh, I haven't seen it, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, and it's even on Seagull Jazz. Watch this now. And it's um, it's beaten Full Metal Al Alchemist as one of the top rated animes of all time or something. And it's by Madhouse. But yeah, I haven't seen the show, only heard of it, heard of good things about it. Probably will be watching it, but I've already, I already feel like I've been consume the show in its entirety in meme format. It's, it's pretty, pretty weird. <laughs> like, I know who, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I know who Fryeran is, I know who Fern is, I know who Ubel is. <laughs> All right, Chester's got the uh, education for me. It's pronounced free run. Wow, I never would have guessed that free run, but it's really good. What is it about? Like, is it just like a slice of life or something? I feel like I need a higher jump to be able to fully explore this room. Also, I have a library card. This place looks like a library. point of the invisibility cloak apart from like being transparent and then going invisible when you crouch. Sonic Channel says pronounce my name. Sonic Channel. Well, the 
there's only one place left to explore, and I feel like I won't be, be able to explore that either. Ow! Wait. The library card is an equipable, equipable item. Hmm. Like, whoa, what the hell? Did you see that? Oh, it's the books. I love the way they just explode. Right. Let's replace my night shield with a library card and see what the what happens. It only teleported me here. <laughs> And that's like a one use item. Wow, okay. So what the hell's a pentagram? Damages all enemies, okay. Ooh, Glassy Kino says the anime is a fantasy anime set after what would be the typical fantasy story of killing the demon lord. So the world is at peace. <laughs> Saying more would be a spoiler for the first episode. I don't remember this room. Oh yeah, because I never went this far. Looks like there's a seal in there. So you get single use teleport items in this game. What a concept. Ow. See you later, Sonic Channel. Chester says that Glossy Kino put it better than I ever could. There's no point going again. Yeah, oh. In fact, my door is long gone, it's this way. Alright, Sonic Channel. You enjoy South Park. How did I, how did I get in here? How do we get out of here? Ah, it's, it's probably this way. All of these books were written by Michael Bay. You can tell because of the explosions. Drop my sword? No, what? What was that all about? Is it because of this guy? <laughs> That's what you get. So many books, says Chester. Where's the world rings when you need them? I kind of figured when it went away all of a sudden that that was a cursed negative status. Oh, look at the way the clouds are waving in the background.
One down, one to go. Three mus musketeers over here. There's also this wolfy thing. How how do you open these doors, huh? Hmm. I don't have anything on me that could also. No, I don't I don't remember. No. I'm guessing it needs some kind of key. And um, what was this way? That's a teleport, isn't it? And it takes me all the way to that other orange room on the other side of the map. Oh, the Medusa heads are back. time I want to look at the map. What was that dude garden? Hey. I don't remember there being a different colour Medusa head. Has this changed since the last time I came here? This game does that a lot. Changes the enemies that appear in areas as you progress. Quite like it. What's this? What's this? Hey! Elevator activated. Maybe so I can get that wolf thing? But listen to the music go all like heroic. After I do that. Um, where did it go? What? Oh, it follows you? That scared the living daylights out of us. Thank you, Gem. <laughs> Ey, dear. Obtained a soul of wolf. The hell does that do? Is it like an equipable item or is it... Is it gonna be in this menu instead? Relics. Soul of wolf. Transform into wolf. I didn't read the manual though, so how the... What button is it? Whoa, okay, so I just pressed the shoulder buttons, which previously did nothing. The Legend of Zelda. Twilight Princess. I'm not as fast as you'd expect a wolf to be. This is my standard running speed. What the hell? And then I can hit the R2 button to turn back into a... I'm, I'm gonna say a human, but he's not human, is he? These legs look very weird when you're going up the stairs. The legs don't tilt, but the body does. So it looks like it's two dudes <laughs> in a wolf costume. <laughs> That's funny. But what is the point of this? I can woof, and that's about it. I can't jump high. I can't run fast. We'll find a use for that later. <laughs> Indeed, woof. Now, where was it going? Oh. See that? Why did I just do that? There's a vase there I haven't collected. Hmm, I don't think I can get to it. Uh. 
Rasu Kino says double tap. Hold the phone, hold the phone, double tap. <gasps> Whoa, okay. That's not what you'd expect. So the wolf can run fast. Ow. And can I scare enemies away with a wolf? No. This is probably how I'm going to access other parts of the library here. Yeah? Also, what did that say? Max Heart something? so difficult. I've done this before, right? There we go. Ooh, a save station. Yes, please. <gasps> the Holy Bible! I love this power up. And it kind of looks like something you'd see in a Sonic 3 monitor. Chester's gonna sleep now, but you shall return another time. Well, this one's for you, Chester. I'll see you later. Thanks for dropping by. And uh, take care of yourself. I can still, yeah, I can. S Duck Station is such a good one emulator. One. Just like with Nintendo Switch emulators, I can, like, use things off window. And, and, and still control the game. Right, I'm gonna use this wolf. Actually, no. Let's remind myself um, why I can't explore this area. I'm pretty sure down there is an area that you fall into and it's kind of like a graveyard. Oh, I, I think, oh yeah, I remember. We've got these Terminator skills, skills. Skulls down there. I think I can use the wolf and just run across that gap now, right? Alright, let's try it. Oh, yeah. Who's a genius? Whoa. I thought I had nunchucks though. We'll make our head many a cover of this song, yeah. I think when I'm done this done with this game I can uh, I'm free to check out um, other people's remixes. But this game's OST. I imagine Toxic Times Eternity is, um, no, Toxic Eternity. You're not supposed to say that, so yeah. He's probably done a remix of this. Magic Missile? Where have I heard that before? Magic Missile? That's the name of a rocket league boost, I'm fairly sure. Oh, I should have ran across that. I'm gonna have to do that again. Eat. Eat my Bible. This is just one massive... Don't fall down, area. Oh, where did you come from? We 
can also use the wolf to speed up these long stretches of room. Isn't what a D&D thing? Because I wouldn't know anything about D&D. Initiate Bible. Turn into wolf. Bible will protect me. Where? Come here. Oh. What the hell? Oh, why didn't that work? That was bloody weird. God damn it. This double, this double top thing is very janky, I have to say. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, let's see what magic missile is anyway. Magic missile. It does 40 damage. Shoots a magic arrow. Let's test it. Wait, was that a one-use thing? That was a one-use thing? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I should know because it says use next to it. Ah, oh god. I really need to pay attention and understand the language of this game. Whoa. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm, I'm sick of falling down here. No, I'm not using analog. When it comes to 2D games, I use a D-pad. Jump! Fuck! God damn it! I must be getting a higher jump at some point. Well, that's this place explored to my maximum ability. So let's go to the other part, to the library. And see if we can reach those platforms. Maybe he's, hmm, maybe he's the wolf is what I need to get to a few places actually. Kino says that this game is supposed to be played on a D-pad. Because at the time of release, the PlayStation controller probably didn't even have a D-pad. And the Saturn certainly didn't. Um, where am I going again? Oh yeah, not too far away. Maybe I should save and that will refill my health too.
making sure that there's nothing significant about this because it sticks out. Having the skeleton here. Maybe I should have just used the elevator. Oh god, I don't remember that. You must be new. Skeleton here. not enough. Ha, the wolf does actually damage enemies. Yeah. I can't actually use it here. There's no point being here. way of getting about. Oh, I'm so This fascinating ability. Where was the vases that were out of reach? Is this the elevator? Funny how it like splits in the middle like that. There's no... Scratch that. Did I see something that was out of reach down here? Oh. Like this vase probably? Uh, no, I can't use the dog to get to that. You can't jump high enough. could pass. Okay. Give me back my Bible. Oh, those are daggers. Daggers are good. Alright. 
Soit have an open. There's only one big unexplored area now, and that's the um, the, the far left corner. I think I'm going to take the teleporter to get there really quickly. So back up this hallway I go. I can't jump up here, can I? Okay. Positioning of these is so cool. Please leave me alone. taking any damage. What was in here? What's he protecting? Do a big circle. Safe station here. I think I can afford to skip it. Come on, doggy, run. Run. Don't fall down there again. Um, will the... Will that take me to there quicker? Probably. Up again. Wow, exactly to where I want to be. journey to the top left begins now. We're gonna hear that Mario cadence again. I will save here. Still in the top right corner for a second there. We're not going to hear that music anymore either. Are we? Why is that blown? It's just decoration. Thank you. 
Did I ever go that way? It looks like I have, yeah. There's also a way up here I've never been before. Hmm. How do you get up there, I wonder? What's this underneath? To me that says, you can only fall down here. I remember climbing this room last week. those guys I think you can't have a metroidvania without enemies that spin around a platform like that. I'm gonna have to come up with my own. So I've not explored this square. S simple reason is I can't even get there. Hmm. Am I cute? Am I due a bigger jump soon? It's got to be the answer. Can't go through this pillar. Station. Might as well. <laughs> Pardon me. Explore those squares. It's another case of I can't get. my daggers for good. I would never have been able to make it back to it in time before it despawned. So now I'm stuck with bloody axes. I can't think of anywhere else to go after this. I've been everywhere. If this isn't the way forward, I don't know what is. Ooh. Ooh, back to using the most powerful thing. Save station. I think a break is going to be due very soon. So what have I done so far tonight? Boy, I'd love to go out here. I've gotten water immunity, and so far that's only been useful for one area. Oh god, I remember the staircase. This was horrible to get up. 
And that dog, the wolf, isn't going to help me here either, is it? I feel like I'm stuck. Screw you. It's not going to help me here, is it? Wee, wee. When the dog jumps on the stairs, you know, I thought you'd get way, way more distance than you actually get. Whoa, but if you do a jump going up the stairs, like, that's crazy. That's counterintuitive. That's the kind of height I'd expect you to get when when jumping going down the stairs. <laughs> I don't know why. <gasps> Whoa! Can I do that again? Look at that, there's a forge up there and I want to get to it, but I can't. So, Woof Woof has Sonic the Hedgehog slope jump physics? Unless you're going down the stairs for some reason. Look at that. Is there any way I can use that to my advantage? <laughs> Ooh, what the? I wanted to see if I could do a full jump here and then turn into a wolf and then have that little bit of extra height, but it's not working that way. What else was in this area? Where am I? If I don't find anything to progress with here, uh, I'm going to take a break. Look at all these little slopes that I feel tempted to do this one. Oh, I remember this room with acre slash in it, mega acre slash. And then there was nothing on the other side. And I thought this was a boss, but no, this is an enemy that respawns. Oh, dogs can't interact with doors. And I haven't gotten farther than here. If only that would have worked, because that looks like a switch. So I've got absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do here. Only one thing has changed, and that's I've got the wolf. This music. Couldn't progress up top there, couldn't can't progress down here, up here. Can't go through that bridge. <clears throat> I am majorly stuck. If anybody's got any hints, feel free to leave them. And um I'll use that to, I'll use them to my advantage after the break. 
but right now I'm drawing a blank. All I can think of is to go back to where I started in the caverns with the wolf and uh, see if there's any jumps I can make with it. Glossy Kino says, you really didn't notice it? The room directly to your left? Lol. What are you talking about? The room directly to my left? Is it one of these passage rooms? What am I supposed to be noticing? Is this a... Oh my god. These are platforms? Oh my god, really? These have always been here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I noticed them, but like they look so... They, they just look like background decoration and... They kind of look, I don't know, low quality compared to... The, the background here is making this area very weird for me. Because you've got the high poly background that's been rendered in HD. <laughs> And then you've got these pixelated stairs here that you're supposed to look at them and go, oh yeah, these are supposed to be stairs. So what's on the other side of this room? Ow. Also stairs. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Thanks a lot, uh, Glossy Kino. <laughs> goggles? What do the goggles do? I'm guessing they go on the face. They raise my intelligence. Okay, I'll wear them. The goggles, they do something. Lately, and I've been really bad at noticing things in, in uh, Zelda Link's Awakening DX. I, I, I kept getting stuck and I just wasn't noticing things that were right in front of me. And again here. If it weren't for the looking at that little walkthrough before the stream, I never would have guessed to break that little bit of ice underneath where I started to get the ability to go through water. Oh my god, my shield does nothing. Piss off. Oh, look at that sky, man. I want to go out there so badly. Uh, another door. Oh, a statue, I can't move. Alright, beware of walls. Gotta check the map to make sure that those are actually doors. Hello. Wing. 
Oh god. Black crow. Have you ever seen a crow that isn't black? Oh! God damn it, it happened again. Screw you, bird. Come on. I hate you. Oh my god. Wait. Hunting girl. Can I have that sword? She didn't drop it, did she? Maybe it was just part of the um, sprite. God damn it. Bloody crows. Ah! Bastard. Okay, what's a silver plate? Alright. Are any of these gonna give me more defense? Yeah, actually. I should equip the silver plate. Alright, let's explore these other doors. Bloody bats! seen this before. What the? How much does that cost? Salt? Is it? Is this supposed to be salt? <laughs> That's so dumb. Powerful if it lands. Oh God. Don't think I can go up here. Oh, look at that, another jump that I just can't make, but it looks like you can, you can actually go on this, so when you're gonna give me a higher jump again, huh? Because I didn't need it.
Have I been in this one? Is this another top of the castle? It is. A glassy Kino corrects me, it's not salt. Holy ashes. My next question is, what do you have to burn to get holy ashes? The only reason I thought it was salt was because salt is commonly used in exorcisms. And uh, salt is definitely like in greater supply than ashes that happen to be holy. Tell when the bats are about to wake up, you just look at the animation. They'll start shaking, and then after that, they'll start to fly. Hello, this looks like a boss. You wanna taste my holy ashes? Skip. No. Du, du, du. Kinda sounds like Attack on Titan. Eat. Eat my ash. Whoa, it's just... That. Oh god. Probably gonna die to this. Oh. Sounds like something I've heard in that stuff before. Oh god. Oh, I've run out of holy well, I've run out of hearts. That's close. Its attacks are getting quicker. Maybe I should heal. How about that? I think I've got some mushrooms. Hell, I could even um, take an attack up right now. That would be nice. Oh! Well, fuck you then. Oh my god, that was so stupid. Run straight to the mushroom. Well, at least, you know, none of that saved, so I didn't waste a mushroom. What time is it? Is it break time? Should I take a break before facing this guy again? Let's see how far back it sent me. So I just have to notice that staircase again. Okay. As if there was no save point. Wow, well, I've actually got a lot of uh, a lot of map to re-explore. And I've probably, you know what? There was like a choice in one of the tall rooms where I could either go that way or that way. I decided to go that way. That way was probably another bloody save station. I've got a terrible habit of missing them in this game. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a break now. And then I'll redo all that when I come back later. It's getting quite hot in here. And I'm very annoyed at myself.
Alright, and Glass Kino, Glassy Kino says you sanctify water, you can sanctify ashes. It's not about what you burn. Okay, I see. Oh, oh yeah. Let's put some music on for the break. Let's see what happens. Is it going to be an ad when I hit shuffle? What's it going to be? Show me what you got. Not an ad. Brilliant. Okay. So to play us into the break, Lime Flavored Optimo has their deeper, or oh, what's it called? Death Chamber, that's it. Enjoy the break. I'll be gone for five to ten minutes. I'll see you very soon.
Welcome back from the break. I hope you had a lovely one because I certainly did. You were listening to Eclusor and the Axiom Verge White City Mega Man X Remix. You can find that in the playlist over on YouTube. Let's return to this and reclimb the staircase that I was blind to and hopefully find a save station that I also skipped. Yeah, I bet you. I bet you 10 hundred million pounds that uh, there's a save station. Where am I? So I've got to reclimb the staircase of doom again. Luckily, I've still got these things. God. spiky ball for when you're going back down that staircase. Alright. I can't get up here, can I? <coughs> Excuse me. Let's try that again. The wolf can't make that jump either, can he? No. <clears throat> Get away from me. Don't they hit me? I can reset his position, can't I? By just going through this star here. Hey. Welcome to Castlevania Speed Struts. Uh, I've got to recollect these items. Oh god, I remember. This was not a pleasant thing to do. Just get the skeletons. As soon as you see them, do not give them a chance to fire their boomerang sticks. This place. Beware of crows. Oh shit. I said beware of crows. This is what I suspected to be the save station. I can't go through here. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's where I thought would be the save station that I skipped. There's a oh, there's a few doors that I'm skipping here too. Oh, she responds. I have no idea. Oh god. <laughs> oh, and nice of the thing to absolutely, completely, totally refill my health as well. Wait, what? Silver plate, okay. I must get the goggles in the next... 
castle place. Oh, there's a few places down here that I should be exploring as well. I went through here, didn't I? Yeah. Okay, let me explore these other doors. I couldn't get through there because of spikes. And I definitely never went back down. So there was a door I missed. Don't fire them. I will make this jump. Maybe I need to turn into the wolf. And have some speed. I swear the double tap is so janky. Alright. Never went through here. Or did I? I think I did. And I never went down this way to the right. this confession room ah you can actually sit on the chair this guy kind of looks like vision oh what the hell T sit there and cry. It would appear so. And if you get up, she nods at you. What a strange room. So here comes Vision. Is he angry? He's angry. Wait, 
wait for them. Wait for them to spawn the objects. No, I've missed my opportunity clearly. Well, that was a uh, interesting little experiment. <clears throat> So now I can just proceed to go the way I was going. I'd love to hear the um, the Bowser Castle music from Super Mario World done with this instrumentation here. I think it would sound so good. salt. That made me... It's not salt, it's ash. The ash. The useless ash. That didn't do any good for me during that boss fight. <clears throat> Up here was goggles, right? No. Looks like a ring. The zircon. Right, what we got here? Just one room. Hey. Hmm. Wow, so there was no safe station between the boss in here. Well, I'm gonna eat that mushroom right now. <laughs> And also have a strength portion, I think. Temporary, temporarily raises strength. Temporarily raises attack. What's the difference? Uh, where are my shiitakes? There we are. Uh, maybe I should go into the previous room and do this as well. <laughs> Goodbye, boss. You're not running into my um, mushrooms. Maybe I should eat another one. God damn it. Right, that'll do me. Put the night sheet, actually, strength portion. And I'm gonna use that in the next room, actually, because I think, don't, don't item effects reset or stop working as soon as you go in a different room or go on the pause screen again okay I'll temporarily raise my strength oh and this means if I use this I won't be able to equip my shield but my shield is useless doesn't it defend me against anything during this so I think I'll be alright <laughs> I'll use the power of the Bible to my advantage. 
to the Stevi Coral Highlands for Monster Hunter World music. <laughs> now, am I still... Have I still got the strength? I don't see any visual indicator that we're dead. Hello. Didn't see this last time. Is it dead? Wow, I was about to take another potion. Max life up. Impressive. Maria. You're very strong. What is it you want? You didn't come here to tell me that. <laughs> You're right. Do you know the name Richter Belmont? I've heard of it, yes. Of the Belmont clan? Of course, but... He disappeared oh, about a year ago. He's thinking of an air bit sure right? he's here. That's if such a cool him, detail. Please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Thank you. So, you do know how to be a gentleman. <laughs> my lady. Um, where is my shield? There it is. I've got two of these. Can I sell my excess gear that I've got here? Oh, what was going on in that mule? Copied and pasted a lot, doesn't it? Potion. Ooh, and a new sword. Could it be stronger than what I've already got? Cutlass. Let's find out. Saber does 30. Let's look for Cutlass. And they're not in alphabetical order. Sword of the English Navy. In the Navy. And it does two less attack. I'll stick with my saber. Subsonics here over on YouTube. How's it going, man? I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday. Are you all, like, dazed and confused on what time it is today? And how's Castlevania been? It's been alright. It's been very good. There's been a few moments where I failed to notice very obvious things. Thanks to helpful people in chat and strategy guides <laughs> off stream. I've been able to figure out what to do. Doesn't the sky remind you of Sonic CD's title screen of Sonic? Sonic just got the new Prince of Persia for your birthday. Happy birthday. Very hyped to start it. I've heard a lot of good things about it. From what gameplay I've seen, the, the map menu, the map screen looks just like Metroid Dreads. Heard good things about it, and you know it's like any game by Ubisoft. Montpellier is going to be a good one. You'll have to let us all know how it is. Oh, just one more hallway. This music. Castle Keep. Now where should I go first? Oh, this is going to lead me to a different area again. A 
teleporter. Wherever to? Let's find out. I don't know if that question's for me or subsonic order yeah. There's a demo, hold up. This this new Prince of Persia Metroidvania has a demo. And it plays so damn smooth. It also has the flash shift from Dread. Yeah, as I said from what I've seen it looks it looks very, very inspired by Metroid Dread, I have to say. Oh, this takes me here. The hell? What is this place? This place has always been available to me. No. I refuse to believe that. There must have been something blocking my way earlier. <coughs> Whoa, it's now foggy here. This wasn't the case earlier. What the hell? Hang on. Hold the phone. Do these keyholes take me to various places? One by one. Alright. Yeah. Okay, so you cycle through all the ones you've already discovered. I see. Subsonic thinks I should totally play the demo on stream. Well, maybe he's... Maybe I've got something to do next week now. Because I finish, finished Sonic Adventure. I don't have an Xbox anymore. Sold that. Boy, did I invest in one of those too early. Ooh, what's this? Tire thing. It looks like a weapon. It does zero attack. Cursed Dark Sword. What the hell? Gotta test it out because I'm very curious. Zero damage. This music. Okay, uh, flea rider. Well, the, it, the, it does nothing. What the hell? Flea rider. That's so funny. It's background. Hello. Gone, Luigi. Oh. Oh. Nothing but safety down there. Oh, yeah, asks, is that a 3D model on the map? Probably. I don't know what it is we're referring to, but this game does have a lot of free 3, 3D models. Oh yeah, We're talking about the cape. I think the cape is just a sprite. No, Subsonic, I'm playing this using Duck Station, which has native Nintendo Switch controller support. I'm very impressed. Obtained Leap Stone. Now I can use the Leap products. And finally play Sonic X. Uh, let's find out what that does. It's probably a relic. Solar Wolf Leap Stone. Where I can do double jump. Oh my god. This is what I've been waiting for all of my life. Turquoise. There's now so many places I can think of. Where I can use this. Oh, 
Oh wow, that's a 3D model, for sure. Apparently this place has got more to it, more height to it, but I can't get to it right now. Yeah, or the uh, Duck Station is awesome. I'm considering doing some more plays. PS1 games streams now. There's this one from my childhood called The Italian Job. I don't know if it was released in other territories, but that's a classic from my PlayStation 1 days. I think I might uh, hunt for that one. I don't think I can go up from here. In fact, that's why there's a teleporter here on offer. There were spikes over there, so I can't do anything more in this corner. The only thing I could do is take this double jump all the way back down to the bottom of the staircase. And backtrack. What was through that door there? I can't remember. Take the teleporter back to the same again. Is that going to finally take me to somewhere that I haven't been able to go before? I think it might, you know. But it's six and two threes. Take the take the take the teleporter and go down there, and end up near the bottom of the books. Yeah, I'm just going to backtrack. I think it might be worth it. There might be stuff in those vases. We'll see. We'll see. Audio heard that the Saturn version of this here game plays much worse. I was curious about it. But does anybody have the definitive answer? I've also, I've also heard that Sega Saturn emulation is quite tricky. And it's not the best. Subsonic says that this game got ported to Saturn also with playable Maria and Richter, but it's quite compromised graphically. Compromised, you say? Good. The Luigi Riders are here. Go away. The Saturn version was done by a different team and was a quick and dirty part. Doesn't take advantage of most of the console's features. That's so strange because the Saturn was built for 2D games, wasn't it? Or oh, its architecture had 2D in mind. Oh, I'm out of water already. I'm guessing Mednafi is a, is the name of a Saturn emulator, and it's the one that Auto yeah uses. Subsonic says that Saturn emulation was a crapshoot for many years, but now there's Mednafi. It sounds like a it sounds like it sounds like a tablet brand. <laughs> Are you feeling ill? Then you need Mednafi. Did I take my hair fever tablet today? I always ask that when I end up with an itchy nose at the end of the night. <laughs> Usually the answer to that is no, I've forgotten to take it. Alright, so I don't know why I keep looking at the map. I'm heading left. Left. Nothing but left. Wow, these guys are now quickly reacting. Sounds like something your grandfather takes before bed. Ah. Got him 
too slow. What is that? Ham and eggs. myself what was here. Oh, it was that weird room, wasn't it? Or was it? Oh no, I don't need the wolf to help me out now. I can just double jump across here. Uh, it's got a weird statue in it. With a statue of another man pushing against it the other way. So Aurea explains that Mednafen is a multi-emulator, but really only a few cores are worthy, like the Saturn, PC Engine, Virtual Boy and PS1 ones. That's a lot of consoles to cover. Alright, I'm nearly at one of my destinations. I'm thinking maybe I can use the double jump on the other side of the Aegis Slash room as well. And here it is, the Aegis Slash. Um, get away from me. We can just reset his position and he won't bother us. Subsonic has got the ultimate setup, which is a region free Saturn with an action replay cart which left which lets you play CDR as well. I don't think I can use the double jump to get me up there, can I? I, w I, I want to try that again, but without hitting my head. Because I feel like if I jumped as late as possible. Right, where's the ledge? Right on. <laughs> this is where I got the goggles from. I didn't. I, I could have done this all along. Because I remember getting the goggles and then dying. And that's how I don't have them anymore. They're going to give me a bit more defense, aren't they? Yeah, I... A tiny bit more defense and more intelligence. Alright, it's a staircase room. But there was stuff up here that I wanted to get and now I can. Morning Star, this is a weapon from Dark Souls. Let's see if it... Ooh, it does more damage. Yes, please. Ah, oh, nice. It's, it's like the whip. Pretty much. Oh god. Where's the spiky ball? Alright, fly my pretty. Look at this. Ow. Staircase of Doom giving you bother. Invest yourself in a spiky ball. Ooh, can I reach that? Hmm. I don't think I can reach any of these. I can reach you. Magic missile, I'm not gonna waste that one. Now that I know what it does. Sure I can. Now I can live out all of my ninja fantasies. What is that? 
that looks out of reach. TNT. Are there any more ledges? Uh, the boomerang. The blue boomerang. Ooh, might I be able to reach them if I jump from a higher spot? out of reach. Which makes me think there might be another jump related ability. And are those wings that sprout from you? Yeah, I think that whatever these items are, I just, just can't get them yet. They're just out of reach. Sweet, they're either equal spying and I can save. <laughs> there looks it looks like there's two places here that I can use this double jump. Let's investigate. Mario Cadence again, here we go. It's not going to get interrupted this time, is it? Oh, hang on. Where am I going? Oh, I did want to drop down, but I'll investigate these squares as well. Ah, uh, I remember this room. I don't think there's going to be anything for me to see in here. In fact, the double jump doesn't even help me see these squares. Oh dear. Idea you could, I could have moved this all along. Oh my god, I've always been able to reach this spot, then I've never needed the double jump to get here. Subsonic says that the PS1 needed more games like this that fused sprites with polygons so elegantly. Yeah, I, I didn't need the double jump to get here. So, what have I been missing out on all this time? Nothing useful. Uh, where else is exp Ah, well. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Not a big deal. 
I can just use the keyhole to go to the top right corner. Because I think that's where the game wants me to use the double jump. But no harm in exploring these areas that I haven't been to quite yet. Cloth cap, so I should have got this ages ago, so it's probably not going to be of any use to me. Cloth cap, crystal cloak. I'm so glad I came all, the, all this way. Alright, so I'm heading to the keyhole. Which means I'm gonna go right. Ouch! I have been poisoned. I think that means my attacks do last damage for a little while. No biggie. At least it doesn't slowly uh, chip away at my health like poison tends to in other games. Now can I use the double jump to get up here? No. station very nearby but I can afford to skip it. Wow. Good thing I can turn into a wolf. Where am I going? This is the area that actually has the Mario Cadence in the music. Right, I'm heading to the keyboard. You're not going to hear this music for long. Probably not long enough for it to loop. Yep. Don't die on the way to the safe station. Oh, the fog is gone. That's weird. Wasn't the fog when I accidentally came here earlier? Staircases that had something hard to reach on it. Listen to some rock. I 
Can I make this jump without turning into a wolf now? Also, I can't see where the... Every time you come here, the bridge collapse resets. Uh, okay, I can make the double jump. Ball bridge. Lovely. I can now progress. Ooh, what's up here? Hello. Three things, a sword, a chess piece, and some kind of grenade looking thing. Oh god. I don't know what lies ahead. Let's find out together. Go away, Terminator Skull. Door here. Whoa, hello. Is this the door? It is. I thought you could stand on that. Turns out you can't. This sounds so good. <laughs> Do you think you'd enjoy the linear games? That I'm not so sure on. It's like Mega Man as well. Like to me, in my mindset, that the games you play once and then never again. I could be wrong, but that's just my taste. I don't see because they're very linear, as you say. They got linear games. There's something about linear games where I just don't like to play them again. Unless it's Super Mario Land for some reason. Hmm. Oh yeah, I've got a double jump. In that moment, I forgot I had a double jump. Speaking of Super Mario Land, these things look straight out of Super Mario Land too. They even do the same thing. What did I just pick up? Daggers? Hmm. <gasps> Pardon me. I have a choice here. Maybe he's... Safe station or that? Was that another Mario cadence? What is this? Should I do it? Should I jump? Oh. that again. Alright, so this was pointless. Don't do that again. Itchy nose. Oh, ah, uh, goodbye, Bible. I'm now... Oh, oh, I've now got daggers. Oh, God. And I've got no issue with daggers, look at them. They only cost one. Wow, this, the scaling of the sprite kind of looks weird. I'm guessing it's because... You know, it's designed to scale at, like, something like that, like 480 resolution, maybe. But it's having to rotate on an HD screen. So it looks kind of weird. God, this is fucking shit. Leave me alone! Is this doing damage here? Is 
there any point to being able to smack these? Oh shit. Oh, I do not want to use salt. Give me the daggers, I'll take damage. Just to have the daggers back and not the salt. Yeah, what's the point in hitting these? At least they don't damage me. Get out of this hellhole. I'm so low on health. I need to get somewhere safe and eat. That would be nice. Don't let him. Whoa, did you see that crazy spin? Oh, that's a dog. Oh my god. I am getting my butt kicked. What the hell was that? What did I have equipped? The hell was that? What is going on here? What did I do? I just pressed B. It's still not safe. I want to eat. Hello. Go away, salt. Thank you. Have I been up here? Um, what can help me out here? Ham and eggs. Can I go somewhere safe? That did not heal me that much. Right. I have health at the very least. Right. Mission, get back up here. Sonic says that those are totally authentic transparencies on the water. The satin version uses dithering instead. Could the satin not, could not do transparency? Let me think. Yeah, I guess it couldn't. I'm thinking of all the satin games that I've played. And uh, Sonic Jam. Shadows aren't real shadows, they're just dithered. Whoa, what the... Vandal sword? Hey! Oh my god. I am so nearly dead. Oh my god, four health. Four health. I don't think I've got anything else that I can use to heal. Potion. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, where did my shield go? There it is. Sonic R is loaded with pretty amazing transparencies. Yeah, it is actually. A lot of that game is done with transparency. It just required a lot of technical know-how with the two graphics processors. Oh yes, says people always point out KO's first two levels when it comes to transparent effects on the Saturn. Yeah, truth be told, I haven't really played that many Saturn games. Sonic Jam was one. I played this puzzle game called Baku Baku or something like that. Oh, this guy has the Sword of Doom. Go away. Why am I going forwards when I'm using my daggers? Go away. Right, don't kill these guys if you want an easy time. Sheesh. <laughs> I don't want to. God, they're everywhere. Subsonic also says that Astro is a stunner. Can't say I've heard of any of these. I'm gonna have to check them out at some point. What other Saturn games did I have? Oh yeah, I had Knights. Is it possible to just skip these guys entirely? Wow, look at all this pointless space. So I got no choice but to go this way, huh? Um, what choice have I got? Maybe I can increase my attack. Um, attack portion. Maybe it's because it's a portion. Do you think it'll also increase my health? That's probably wishful thinking. Creates a pillar of flame. I've got all these things here I can use. Oh, that's going to wear off because I went into that screen, isn't it? I'm such a moron. Right. Oh, no. I've still got the effect. Lovely. Oh, there's two of them. Get away from me. All right. Two hits and we go down. Let me re-equip my um, shield. I think I got this. Astro was an in-house Sega platformer released early on. It didn't come to Europe because people were turning on 2D games by 1995. Don't blame the people, Subsonic. Blame Sega of America. During the Saturn era, Sega of America were in charge of what games came to Europe. And they presumed... They presumed... They knew what the European market wanted based on what Sega of America wanted, but that couldn't be true. The Saturn was really successful in the UK to start with. And then, interest in it went away because no titles were coming to it. And why were no titles coming to it? Because Sega of America decided what titles came to it. So the Saturn died over here just because it died in America as well. So tragic. This looks like a dog. Oh, I've just reset every enemy in this room as well. The statues are telling me where to go. But I filled in every square and that's what counts. That's what I wanted. Subsonic says, and yet somehow Rayman was the best selling UK game of the gen. You see what I mean? Don't blame the people. 
Blame the Sega, blame the Sega of America. They killed the Saturn over here. The Saturn was doing really well. Oh, it's another boss. Oh my god, I've got no health. Just a bunch of items. Do, do these things do anything? Fairly valuable. Rings. Yeah, these don't do anything. And I've got these two extra slots on my body that I can't do anything with. Let's see what happens if I use TNT against this boss. Well, that was a... that was a lot. <laughs> Wait, when was my last save station? Oh my god! Don't tell me I've skipped this another save station. If I die here, this is gonna be so horrible. I'm gonna have to redo all of that again. Oh god. And there it is! I don't even get any time to take in the boss or learn his moves. Now, how much do you want to bet? I've, I've skipped a fucking save station. How much are you betting? <laughs> Audio says Knights, Sega Rally, Saturn, Bomberman, Sonic Jam, Mega Man 8, Panzer Dragoon Saga. Are some good picks to start. I had Panzer Dragoon. Not on my Saturn when I was a kid, but uh, when I was a console collector for a little while. Before becoming a YouTuber, I was collecting consoles. I had about 50 different consoles, 52. And uh, just a splattering of games for each of them. Mainly Sonic, I had every Sonic game ever released. And then whatever interested me on the Saturn, and um, Panzer Dragoon was one of them. It was expensive, let me tell you. God, I've got to do this entire bit again. Fucking hell. Subsonic says Pandemonium has a great vid unpacking the leaked internals from Sega during 1996. It was really a slow motion train wreck. Gotta do this whole bit again. Oh my god, really? Fireball, do your job. Skulls. Come at me one at bastard time. Come here. Go away. Fall down bridge. make wolf noises, I didn't notice. This room was annoying too. Right. What was here? Oh yeah. Bunch of nothing. That's 
time I was here, I had daggers instead of the fire. Oh god. I think it's just a... Must be just a cool little detail that like you can hit the cogs in the wall. Oh my god, piss off. Piss. Any rooms that have these Medusa heads in them are just the worst. So I can't go through that door there either. That's where I was thinking the safe station would have been. Is this just one long gauntlet back, back to the boss room without a single save? And I haven't missed a save at all. one long uh, gauntlet back, back to the boss room, this is so unfair. Wow. So I'm probably going to die again because I don't know the boss. So my next mission is to get through this room with it, uh, losing as little health as possible. Hey, hey, hey. Subsonic asks, did Alex have fun with that Castlevania 4? You'll have to ask him. By the sounds of it, he enjoyed bloodlines more than four. I think if I take a certain route here, I can skip a lot of these guys. Oh god. Piss. I'll fight you, you piece of shit. It's gonna hit me. Uh, I'm so annoyed. This is one of the most unfair runbacks to a boss room I've ever seen. That's less health than I had last time. Alright, let's make sure there's no hidden save station here. I don't think there is though. Oh yeah, subsonic. Alex finally discovered um, the beauty of sharp pixels for the first time. As he took off the um, bilinear filter and or something like that. And then he, he finally stopped saying that the game was ugly. Boss room, isn't it? Fucking hell. Uh oh. Maybe I should use my double. Whoa! Can I stun lock you? That would be cool. Stun locking you like this would be just amazing. Is he dead? Ha! Huh. I love these effects that appear when you kill bosses and, and stuff. 
Well, that was surprisingly easy. Subsonic just presumed he liked those fillers. I think when it comes to his banner, he definitely likes that one. And I used to like that one when I was younger. And I didn't give a shit about pixels and stuff like that and quality. I used to love the filter that smooths out all the pixel lines and kind of makes it look drawn, if that makes sense. Whoa. Better be a safe station here. Yay. <laughs> Okay, Subsonic says that deaths in this game are really punishing, especially with a long wait to load back in. Magazines honestly ragged on the visuals back in 1997. Honestly, the visuals are great. My only complaint is that some of them look 8-bit, but I'm thinking it could be an intentional choice, you know, because... They deliberately showed an 8-bit Castlevania sprite in a thought bubble. Falcon. This is another sword that appears in Dark Souls. Let's see how it compares to my Morning Star. Normal curved sword. It does less damage. So Aurea says, let me guess, because it wasn't in 3D? Pardon me. All that goes to show is that gaming journalists now, you know, they get ragged on for not really knowing what the hell they're talking about. And it turns out things have never changed. Gaming journalists have always been uh, not representative of the gamers that they claim to represent. <laughs> I'm starting to get hungry. This doesn't look trustworthy. In fact, this is a different area, isn't it? This is an area I've already been to. I'm going to fall into it. Hello, Luigi. Go away, Luigi. I didn't have the double jump when I came through here initially, did I? Or did I? Go away. Draw. So why is the game sending me back to this room? This is interesting. There's only one thing to do in here, and that's to get back out of it. And what did what did beating that boss give me? Just some extra life? So what the hell? That door can't be open because it's like a, a gate in the way. This is strange. Defeating the boss gave me nothing. So now I'm supposed to figure out where to use this double jump again. All I do know is that I've connected the two, the two corners of the map here. PS magazines kept saying that they were jealous they couldn't get the N64 game instead. Some of the magazines of critics were genuinely great. It's always impressive when I find actually good coverage and see such old maps. You know what? Scratch what I just said. You know, there, there have always been some good gaming journalists. I remember the official Nintendo magazine were quite good here in the UK. I didn't miss something up there, did I, when I fell down? Is it easy for me to get back up there too? Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, yeah, says it's a gold mine up there in both good and bad ways. I don't understand. I'm guessing the game wanted me to fall down here. well time with the music. I felt like I went in the room and there was nothing there, so the music just stopped. <gasps> Pardon me. I did save at that save station, didn't I? I'm struggling to think of somewhere to go and use this. Use this. I haven't even gotten anything to use. Let's just double check all of my relics and make sure I haven't like picked up something and completely forgotten about it. No. Got everything I had before. The official PlayStation magazine was pretty much just buttering up Sony at every turn, but you loved it as a kid. I mean, it, it, it's part of the job, really. <laughs> I'm starting to get tired. Oh, what's that all about? I can't, I can't do anything in here. Um, okay, I am once again lost. Maybe the game just wants me to backtrack. I remember that door down there needs mist, right? Let's backtrack. I feel like I was in a very, very important room very recently, and, and now I'm just not. And also, once you fall down here, I don't think you can get back to the other end. So, like, yeah, I've been forced down here, that's... Yeah, I'm gonna guess the game just wants me to go back this way for some reason. Subsonic says that the UK's Sega Saturn magazine was utterly brutal when they wanted to be. They cut Sega no stack. Wow. the other consoles when they deserved it, which is interesting. <laughs> it sounds like um, whoever was responsible for the Sega Saturn magazine went on to become a fair YouTube video game reviewer. <laughs> Pardon me, why am I hiccuping? when the only thing I've consumed is water. Pissing bats, what the fuck? There's a safe station over here, I should probably use it. But then, hmm... I'm half tempted to do a soft reset, just so I can go back to the last safe station up there and double check that I haven't missed anything up there. That door over there is... Yeah, I can't think of anywhere else to go now. Let's have a, another look at the map. <clears throat> okay, 
Okay, I see a couple of places, but I'm not sure the double jump is what um what what's required. Hmm. I also realise I'm going away from um. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna do a soft reset. I just need to double check. Because you know how much of an idiot I can be sometimes and not notice things. And this is gonna take a while, so I'll sit back. Should be safe Stanton, really. Save Stanton. quickest and most efficient way to do what I'm doing right now, but uh, we're going old school. I better have saved at that save station, mind. Imagine if I just undo a load of progress here. <laughs> right. Okay, I'm where I th wanted to be. This room here. I didn't, I, f I feel like I didn't even fully explore it, you know. There was a platform down here. That. Is that going to fall if I stand on it? That there is, yeah, that door there. So maybe this is like a cloud platform. I feel like I'm going to get another double jump. That's genuinely what it feels like is going to happen. <laughs> is that platform going to come back or should I reset its position? Okay. I, I, I went in here. Discovered that that weapon is not as strong as my old weapon. And then we came here to see that this staircase has been destroyed. And I definitely can't get up there. It looks like I do need another double jump. So, a triple jump incoming. Yeah, this is a definite dead end for sure. And there's nothing more I can do here. What was through that door down there? I don't know. It was shut. With no obvious way to open it. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to follow the game and go where it feels like it's telling me to go. I can't go that way, can I? Go where Luigi's. I should use the keyhole. Let's try and remember what was over there. What was in the library? Behind those four. You know what? I'm curious. I will use the teleport and then um, see what I'm missing out on over there. again. Did 
think I have the double jump. Last time I came here. Let's use the lift. Let's use the lift again. Whoa! Okay. Actually, that was too much. Alright. Wait. Yeah, this is right. To the library. Do, 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 do. Gush over these fake shadows in the background of this room. Go away, books written by Michael Bay. Thank you. One of my weapons was one hitting these guys, but this new morning star. Can't seem to one hit a book. Right. What am I heading to? Alright. Yep, I don't think I can get to them. Well, did you see all that's coming out of the book? Ooh, I think I can get on this one though. Alright, making progress. A new door. Ooh. Oh, it's a save station. But, wow. The first save station I've ever come across where you can um, exit on the other side of it. I think. These flee. Oh my god, there's more fleas. I know they have armor. Is going to be haunted. Stone mask. Oh, wow, the bookcases are 3D. Ooh. Topaz circlet. Holly. Holly rod. Holy rod. Let's have a look at these. Restores HP by poison damage. That doesn't make sense. Restores HP by poison damage. And what else did I get? Sounded like a weapon. Anointed rod. And it does one more attack than my morning star. Okay. Oh, 
with when you're on. about to say this feels like it's gonna be a boss room and then before I could even think those words lesser demon what's he summoning here Bosses are just giving life up. This isn't progress. Oh. Oh, it's the time thing. I like to use that once and then pick the Bible back up. Frank Furter. Was that a literal hot dog? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hot dog. <laughs> Mist could pass. Well, it seems to be what one of my next upgrades is gonna be. Ooh, stuff. Did other stuff come out of there? I just didn't notice. Takimitsu bamboo sword that you use with two hands, but it's very weak. And was there anything else I picked up from here? What does the stone mask do? Ancient ceremonial stone mask increases my defense by one. And that's instead of the goggles. With circlet increases your intelligence. find somewhere else to go with my double jump. Still have a couple of places that look suspicious and it involves going back to the caverns. Going back to the very place where I started tonight. Is there an easy way to get there? Uh, it doesn't look like it. In fact this is one of the most secluded places yet. It feels like there should be like a yellow teleporter keyhole in this area somewhere. I forgot I can use my mouse and I'll show you. This is where I'm wanting to go next and it looks like it's going to be quite the journey. Make sure you can't like press up there and miss something. Go up the stairs and check it out. <gasps> Pardon me. Oh god. God, was Were there this many enemies in here before? Hmm. 
How much longer? I'm not playing this for tonight. Do I just go back to the last area? The first area I was at? With my double jump. Definitely can't get up there. So I need something that can turn me into this. And I need another double jump. Triple jump. Now I can't use the woof woof to my ability. This wolf has been very useless. I don't know what you're supposed to use it for, but like... I've gotten no use out of this ability whatsoever, really. Oh. Yeah, I can't get up there. Oh! Going there's not the way I want to go. Now I can one hit these books. I think it's done. Back. The mist that was that was never there before. It must come and go. <laughs> or it could be an emulation issue. Does anybody know the answer? Uh, to get to the cavern, I have to go down and then go along that very long hallway. Mist could pass. No. This couldn't be said mist, could it? Hmm. I have to investigate. Can't be a coincidence that I need mist or a thing says mist could pass and there just so happens to be mist here for the first time. Let's fog down here too, let's find out. If this leads to nothing, I can very easily get to where I want to go anyway. Mist could pass. Mist could pass. There's plenty of mist here too. from the remix to the original. Oh, and this is the hallway that has the, um, the booty scorpions in it. I know they've got the different name, but... The different name meaning two heads. But that's not what I see when I look at the sprite. Maybe they don't even show up the on the way back through. No, they do. Here they are. Oh, when did I get access? Oh. Oh, 
they go down so easily. This song is looping a lot better than it was last week. You could hear, you could hear the pause last week, but this week it's looping perfectly. I, I wonder what's changed. And I did skip the duck station update. I swear there was an update when I launched it, but I decided to skip it. Did you block my hit there? Yeah, you did. This is where I'm heading to, right? Yeah, it is. I'm very close to a safe station. What was up there? That clock room? You know what? Oh, uh, yeah, I need to revisit that clock room just in case my double jump can do something for me in there. First enemy. Oh, the horn did that. Oh. Actually, I'll have the thing that creates the Knuckles Chaotic Slams. Alright, so close to the fuck. Room. Go away, Luigi's. Time here is always different too. Should I be paying attention to these details? What the hell? How did that happen? What? What? Okay. Well, this isn't. This just suddenly came out to me. As somewhere that was curious. I didn't think something would actually happen that would progress me. Let's find out what it is. Got an itchy back. It's a life up thing. I found enough of them. Oh. New area connection. New music. All Rox's quarters. Oh god, it's these guys. Piss. Oh god. I've already awakened their attacks. I can't do anything about them. Apart from be quick for the rest of them. Alright. <gasps> Is that another Mega Ega Slash? Yep. Holy shit. I did telegraph that through the map. I'm like, what possessed me to hit the wall there, but I saw that there was a door. The hell is this? Cheese, Gromit. Onyx. Broadsword. Let's see how much damage a broadsword does. Simple mercenary's sword. It does the same amount of attack. Another different area. Colosseum. Wow, look at this. Look at the sprite work for this swirling staircase. Huh? <laughs> 
Hello there. Mist could pass. Wow, this music. Subsonic says classic tune right here. Oh yeah, it's jamming. These composers are bringing the unexpected. Funk. And then I, I can even hear some violins in the background. Of this. Oh, wow, we're connecting up to a previous area here. Ish. And I've missed a door. Oh, yeah, says I shouldn't have been asleep on the Castlevania series. That's how I feel. Oh, hello. Apparently, I've been here before. But how can that be? Hello. seen this power up before. Whoa, I fell down. Whoa, these stairs are labelled B2. This part of this track is very weird, but then it, it starts to it starts to calm down. Oh. We'll hear the funny part of the tune again. Sounds like it's just doing its own thing and then it just calms down and becomes something funky. Oh god. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, what the fuck was that? don't have anything left. I didn't want to do that. Oh my god, every time. Stop shooting me. Oh my god, what the hell? This is a very dangerous room. Oh, for god's sake. Wow! Maybe I'm not supposed to come in here. Jesus fucking Christ. Let us go out this evening for pleasure. The night is still young. It's never too late for anything, Ardu, yeah? The question is, which which Castlevania will you make your first? So don't go left. If you want my advice. <laughs> Not unless you want your arse handed to you. Those eyes in the background are flashing to the beat of the music. Whoa. Oh, I've seen you before. I remember. So this connects with an enemy and then you send a lightning ball out of your chest towards them. 
Oh, man. You know, these guys remind me of an enemy. In Dark Souls 2, that only appears in New Game Plus. Yep. <laughs> There's an enemy in Dark Souls 2 which uh, has a throwable shield, which is actually a, a hawk. And it's the only enemy with uh, that kind of weapon. And I laughed so hard the first time I saw it. It's a shame Dark Souls 2 is the only Dark Souls game. That has a different new game plus. I was not going to finish that sentence because then I remembered. Oh god, this guy's got some defense. People forget that Dark Souls 1 has um, some changes when you new game plus it only if you join the what is it called? Gravelord Covenant? Only then will your new game plus have new enemies and stuff. Oh, that isn't there in a standard playthrough and it's not very well documented. It's something that I've always wanted to try and do. A new game plus in the Gravelord Covenant just to see all the extra enemies. Two doors. This music. Oh my god. Okay. Woohoo! God. That looked very dangerous. Let's get another peek. We've got a horse rider. Jesus Christ. Is it possible to go down and investigate the other one? Oh, if you kill the knight, the owl dies as well. Kill the night before the owl. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Drunken old man. Grave keeper. Green tea. Maybe I shouldn't have stolen that man's green tea. Subsonic says that Castlevania Anniversary Collection is dirt cheap on Switch. And Auto yes says either this one or the first NES game. But to face scary horse room. But apart from the horse enemy, all the other enemies look fine. Okay. I can block against these guys and they go down in one hit. Bastard knocking me into the resetting all the enemies. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's two horse riders in here. I could have made it out! Uh, where's the last save station? What time is it? We're coming towards the four hour mark, so I think... I think I'm gonna call it. Oh, Mako's back. Just as I'm thinking of packing it in. Gonna remind myself where I last died. And where to go from here. Hopefully I don't have to do any redo any progress. <gasps> Pardon me. Alright, so I'm here. Alright. Pardon me. Yeah, not too much to redo from here. Just this whole room. Uh, what a dangerous what a dangerous place. Don't go left, room full of people who'll shoot you. And don't go right. Room full of horses and and all kinds of danger. Oh dear. So I honestly have no idea how much of this game I've got left to play. I would assume 
Like, I kind of thought I might get towards the end of it during this one, but, like, nope. Feels like there's a few more upgrades to get, and it feels like the map is just going to get bigger and bigger. So I feel like I'm probably only halfway through the game right now, but I don't really know. Time, 4 hours and 27 minutes. I expect to spend 8 hours on this game. I don't know why. It just It's just what it feels like. Let's come out of Duck Station now. Save state for resume. Yeah, I'll do that so I don't have to sit through the PlayStation loading screens next time I play this. Let us go to the... No, not to the bonfire screen. To the end screen. There we go. Do, do 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 so what was what was oh yeah the demo for what's it called prince of persia i might look into getting that for next week something else i want to do is like revisit some old ps1 games so i'm definitely thinking of the italian job as well i don't know it, did, have you ever played that one subsonic i think it might have only been released in the uk this playstation one game Oh yeah, it's April Fools now as well. Don't believe anything that you hear for the next 12 hours, people. And if you're offered any Easter Monday chocolate, just politely decline it. You never know. Don't expect anything from Sega this year. We, we, got, uh, we got an April Fools present from them last year. Don't go expecting stuff like this from them every year. But uh, one thing I do expect to see is going on Rocket League tomorrow and seeing something funny. They always do something, the developers of Rocket League, to to celebrate April Fool's Day. Last, last year they replaced all of the crowd noises with just one guy shouting, <laughs> This is Rocket League! <laughs> oh, that was so funny. I wonder what they're going to do this year. But before I go and enjoy my April Fool's Day tomorrow, I just want to thank everybody who joined me tonight. So over on the Twitch side of things, that includes Vector Seda, uh, Glassy Kino. I hope I see you again next time I play Castlevania. Thanks for the hints. And then I'm going to move on to YouTube and thank uh, Aurea. Thank you very much. Aurea says, Sonic Man became the Sonic Ambassador at April Fool's Joke in the Sonic JP account. I mean, who better to become the Sonic Ambassador than the Sonic Man himself? Subsonic watched the movie with Michael Caine, but I don't think you've played the game, have you? Uh, yeah, thank you, Subsonic Sparkle. Thank you, Mako Music, also known as Oma Bruges. Do, 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 scrolling. Chester Lockett was here. A Sonic Channel was here. And I think that that's everybody. Take care. Enjoy your April Fool's Day and I'll see you later. <laughs>